What's up guys, in this video we take a look at two fantastic action movie stars. Two actors that play extremely great fighters in action movies. The question I often get is who would be the better fighter, Jason Statham or Scott Atkins? Jason Statham is more famous and he has played in many more high grossing movies, but can he fight as good as Atkins? Well, maybe some will say, is it necessary to compare if both athletes are just action movie stars? They are not real professional fighters and we shouldn't compare. And maybe they're right. We will possibly never know who is the best. But still, some of us are curious and want to know who would be better off in a real match. Let's analyze the two action heroes and look at their skills. Before we compare Jason Statham and Scott Atkins, I do want to say that I have a huge respect for both actors. I found both to be great action movie stars and they have played in awesome movies. Most of their movies are my kind of favorite action movies. It's a good start to know that both actors are approximately the same height. They are both 178 cm or 5 feet 10 inches. Atkins is a little bit heavier than Statham. Scott weighing about 80 kg or 176 pounds while Statham is about 78 kg or 172 pounds. Let's take a look at the background of both athletes. Statham did Olympic diving and was a member of the British national diving team. He competed for England in the 1990 Commonwealth Games. When he was young, he did some Chinese martial arts, kickboxing and karate recreationally. He is athletic and is capable of doing some high-level gymnastic skills. Scott Atkins started Judo at the age of 10. At 13 years old he began practice Taekwondo. Since the age of 16 he did kickboxing and later he became a kickboxing instructor for the Professional Karate Association. He ran classes at the Fitness First at Bearwood Smetwick once a week. He has also gained experience in Ninjutsu, Krav Maga, Karate, Wushu, Aikido, Jiu Jitsu, MMA, Capoeira and Gymnastics. Atkins says in an interview that he trains every day. He trains very hard and he has also instructional videos on YouTube where he explains the steps to achieve certain extreme difficult moves. His kicking ability is on another level. Tatum's film career started in the early 1990s. He got recognition when he played in the 2000 film Snatch, cast alongside popular actor Brad Pitt. Statham was cast in 2002 as the lead role of driver Frank Martin in the action movie The Transporter, written by Luc Besson. For the movie he had studied Wing Chun, Karate and Kickboxing. The film generated two sequels, Transporter 2 from 2005 and Transporter 3 from 2008. He also played supporting roles in Mean Machine from 2002, The Italian Job from 2003 and Cellular from 2004, in which he played the lead villain. In 2010 Statham appeared alongside fellow action stars Sylvester Stallone, Jet Li, Dolph Lundgren and Mikey Rourke in the ensemble action film The Expendables. Later The Expendables 2 in 2012 and The Expendables 3 in 2014. He appeared also in the Fast and Furious series in 2013 and 2015, in 2017 and in Hobbs and Show from 2019 where the focus was on him and Dwayne Johnson. <music> 
Tatum had also the lead role in the Mech from 2018 and its sequel Mech 2 The Trange from 2023. Scott Atkins is a British actor, film producer and martial artist. He is best known for his role as the Russian prison fighter Yuri Boyka in the Undisputed franchise. He has played Yuri Boyka in Undisputed 2, Last Man Standing from 2006 and its two sequels, Undisputed 3 Redemption from 2010 and Boyka Undisputed from 2017. He showed tremendous fighting skills and knowledge of Eastern Ninjutsu weapons in the ninja movies where he had also the lead role. He was Casey Bowman in Ninja from 2009 and its sequel Ninja Shadow of a Tear from 2013. Atkins played memorable characters in Hard Target 2 from 2016 and Accident Man from 2018, with its sequel from 2022, Accident Man Hitman's Holiday. In 2022 he started in Day Shift with Jamie Foxx and Dave Franco and in John Wick Chapter 4 alongside Keanu Reeves in 2023. Now that we know a bit more about their background and career, the question of who is the better fighter still isn't answered. We can see that both athletes can do a lot of fighting sequences that demand great physical condition, flexibility and skill. In numerous examples of Statham's fights we see amazing choreographic sequences, lots of effects and cutted scenes joined together to give it an extreme cool, fast and energetic effect. But in a real situation we all know that this will not be so easy. Many fight scenes trick the viewer as if the actor is extremely skilled and fast, but in reality it's never that simple. Kicks to the head are difficult and to make it look easy, the camera angle influences the perception. It's also the case with Scott Atkins, however, we can see that Scott can kick higher, faster and much better. In my honest opinion, if we compare both actors, Jason Statham is a fantastic actor and I love his tough, hard-boiled, gritty style, but I think Scott Atkins has more experience with martial arts and all sorts of fighting skills. We can clearly see it in his movies and his training footage. He is a trainer and teacher in a karate school. If you want to fight a guy with so much experience like Atkins, you need to be a good experienced fighter. So a real match between these two great action movie stars would be a fantastic competition. It wouldn't be easy for both of them. And I guess that Atkins would have the upper hand in the fight. Correct me if I'm making a mistake. Like I said before, I like both these two actors a lot. And they are amazing action movie stars, but in a fight, one has to win. If you think that my guess is wrong and that Statham is the best of the two, then please let me know in the comments why you think that Jason Statham would win this match. I'm curious what other people think. Unlike the fight in the movie The Expandables 2 where Statham wins, I would bet on Scott Atkins. Ok guys, now that you heard my opinion, please let me know what you think. Who would be the winner in a real competition?
I hope you found this video somehow interesting. Please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.